looks like we hit a dead end. That's really weird. I swear it was just past here. So what exactly are we looking for again? Yeah. From what my friends told me, it's like a little kind of root-like structure. It's what Afton used to generate the core. We're attempting to retrieve it so we can destroy it. We're sure nobody could use this kind of thing to generate it again, right? It's kind of uncertain. That's why we want to get rid of it as fast as possible. Wait, if your friends know where it is, then why didn't they come down here and help us? I didn't want to put them all through that again. Figured it was just easier for me to do it. Freddy, you realize you don't have to take all this burden on yourself, right? I'll be fine. Trust me. They've all been through enough. So, are we gonna move all this rubble, or...? Right, uh, this might take a bit. Everyone just kinda start chipping away at it. Okay. Uh, Freddy, you might want to look at this. <sighs> oh my god. He's still down here. Do we, Fredbear, stop? I don't sense any life presence in it. I think whatever it is is dead. Yeah. Maybe Freddy's right. It looks like whatever life it had had been drained out of it a while ago. I think it's the shell of what was left of Afton's agony. And now it's gone. This kind of looks like dead tree bark. Is this what your friends were describing? <sighs> looks like it. All right. This might take a second. The place smells awful. It's like a mix of stale air and rotting flesh. Yeah, I'm starting to take notice to it too. Can we get the hell out of here? If our job's done, then sure. I assume you all would want to run some tests on this thing. Yeah, especially to make sure that nothing bad can still come of it. Here, I got it. <sighs> well, I don't know about you all. I'd say we should leave this place to rot. Nothing worth coming back to here. Yeah, agreed. All right, come on, everyone. Man, we really let things get that bad, huh? All that time ago. I really thought you could be better than that, William. I really thought you could be better than the monster that you became. We gave you a second chance, but you fell to darkness all the same. Maybe there really was no saving you. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Charlie. Um, hey. Uh, sorry, I just kind of got interested in looking at it. I know how you feel. There's so much you want to do, but... It's just out of your grasp and out of your control. How do you know how I feel? I mean, ever since you started this whole conspiracy theorist, I feel like you've been doing everything kind of right. It took a lot of time. And I've still got a lot that I want to fix. Just not a lot of time to do it. Leonard? What? I'm sorry about what my friends did to you. I kind of get the sense that you know now about what really happened to you and to your family. I had no idea that everything here felt like that, you know? I just kind of assumed it didn't matter. Um... Thanks? Are you trying to say that you were affiliated with Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie? <sighs> There's still so much I haven't told all of you. Huh. You, uh... You wanna go get coffee tomorrow? Or whatever, just sit down, we can talk more about this. When it's not next to a giant, rotting corpse of agony? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we can... we can do that. Good. Um, come on, uh, the others are probably way further ahead than they ought to be. Right. 
I, uh, thank you for your help again today, Freddy. You're welcome. I'm just trying to do my best. Do you want to go home and get some rest for the day? You sound tired. Well, I got nothing better to do here, I guess. I'll see you all when I see you. Bye, Freddy. <sighs> nice kid. Reminds me of myself at his age. <laughs> Hey, Dad. Yeah? What's up, Charlie? Um, can we go talk? Just in private? Uh, sure. Um, anything you want. <laughs> so, uh, Charlie, what did you want to talk about? Dad, do you still regret things? Huh? <laughs> Tell me about it. I regret, uh, probably more than most people should. But then again, I've made a lot of mistakes. Things I've tried over the years to reprimand for. And it's not always been successful. Right. But how do you, like, emotionally deal with that kind of thing? Well, I just kind of try and face every day, hoping to make things better. Charlie, I fail to understand why you're asking me about this. I just have been thinking... There's a lot I regret, and a lot that went wrong here. I look at people like Ennard, or Glamrock Freddy. God, he, he put so much pressure on himself, especially after he lost that kid. He meant everything to him. I... I just wish that... I could have done something about it. Charlie, what are you saying? I mean, look what you've done here. It's incredible. You've given all these lost souls a safe haven to come back to, given them a second chance at life that I don't think I ever could have dreamed of. Yeah, but... I don't know. I used to have so much control over everything, and it all just kind of fell apart. Look, I could have been more careful in my area, too. And I was lost for a period of time. But again, look where we are now. Don't think about what we've lost. Think about what we've saved. As long as this has been going on, Charlie, I hate to say it, you're still young. You didn't get to grow up like a lot of people did. What? Are you saying I'm not ready? You're more than ready, honey. It's just... You lack the emotional maturity to take on all this on yourself. David and Howard contributed just as much as you did, creating the good and taking on the bad, but sadly they're gone now. And I don't think you should be the one to take on all this emotional burden by yourself, honey. I lost you for so long. I'm not gonna lose you again. If you need anything, please, don't be afraid to ask me. I'm your father. I wanna make this right. Don't let me keep making mistakes. All right, Dad. I won't. What the? Well, this is cute. Shadow Freddy? Shadow Bonnie? David, how, how are you all alive? Huh. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Henry, Charlie, it's nice to see you guys again. Oh my god, I, I thought you died. I, I watched you die. I, I guess things just got a weird way of working out, huh? We've been a bit out of the loop. What's been going on? Well, for starters, Afton's finally gone. We got rid of him completely and entirely. Yeah. Oh, that's great news. Whew, happy we finally got to deal with that guy. Yeah, you're telling me. That's a long time coming. Yeah. Um, just a lot's just changed. Shadow Freddy, I, I'm happy you managed to survive that. And Shadow Bonnie, you've been gone for longer. Yeah, like I said, things got complicated. 
But we're here now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dad, I... Something's not right here. What's not right here? Huh? You, you say something, Puppet? Oh, uh, um, I... Sorry, I just... We just kind of had a whole emotional talk. I I just wasn't really ready for this. Come on, Charlie. We, we were in this together. Are you just afraid to see us again? Well, no, of course. I, I love you guys. It's just... This felt very sudden. I kind of not sure how to take it. Well, we all handle grief in different ways, honey. It's nothing to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You don't want us back? What? No, wait. David, that, that's something to... That, that is a really big assumption. I, I expected more of you. You know, Henry? I expected more of you, too. What? Dad! You really are a fool. Uh, uh, stay back! What the hell is going on? Have you really forgotten all about me? Huh? Huh? Dad? Who are you? What do you want with my dad? This has been a long time coming, you know. I've been waiting so long for my revenge. What? Is this some kind of joke? Have we met? Oh, that hurts, you know. Just spitting in my face that you forgot me. Dude, you're like the size of my foot. What the hell is this? What kind of revenge do you want from me? Dear Charlotte, don't you know the laws of the universe that matter cannot be created or destroyed? Trying to erase something just doesn't work. You can only move it really far away. And in my efforts traveling to find you, I have become a master of the shadows. I don't understand. You don't have to. <gasps> so, Charlotte, we meet again. It's been far too long since we last saw each other. And it is so comforting to see that my name finally rings a bell. What did you do with my father? Oh, you're right to the punch, aren't you? Fine, since you're so eager to see him. <gasps> you, what the hell was that? Why was it? So dark. As I explained to your daughter, Henry Emily, I have mastered the shadows. Dad! Ah, uh -uh. we have unfinished business first, girl. Fine. What do you want? Do you really grasp the full extent of what you did to me? Look, that was a long time ago. We had far greater control over all of this, but. Since Howard and, and, and David and they're gone and those parts, the, those locks on on this place, they're broken. I I can't do the same things I could back then. Would you mind fluffing the pillows on your deathbed too? Because you're only making this easier for me. Look, I I was only trying to protect the people. From what exactly? I was an inevitable force that your shadow goons had further conjured into existence. All to spell out some unnamed script of schemes that they realized they were losing grasp of. It was only to keep people distracted. To stop them from finding out about Afton. Oh, and look where that led you. Still had to deal with him all the same. I applaud your efforts. You managed to kill him. But you were never going to stop me. You know that. What's been your beef with everyone anyway? I I never understood you. Just as a giver of life must form, a giver of death will follow. Something you've never understood about me is that I am the yang to your yin. 
or the yin to your yang. It all really depends on how you look at it. By creating this world, I... Only made me stronger! <laughs> Charlotte, I don't mean to be posh, but please hurry this up. All right, what are your terms? What's the catch? You wiped away everything I did here. You erased my fate, my destiny, my prophecy. All for your selfish little games. But now I'm going to take something from you. No. <laughs> Mr. Emily, I'm sorry to break up the family reunion. But I get the impression you and Charlie have been going on fun little missions to try and destroy the remnants of Afton. Sounds like you all have had plenty of bonding time to me. The creator of life must have a heartbringer of death after all. Uh, uh, no! Come on! Work! Even the brightest of lights can be obscured by the harshest of shadows. Uh, any last words before I snap your neck? Charlie, I... I'm sorry. I love you so much. What's this now? Now you've angered me. But there is an upside to all of this. You seem really willing to fight. That's surprising, considering you always seem like the peaceful bystander. Never really confronting your demons. Hiding behind a box or a bear. You never came off as the type to really defend yourself. That's what I liked about you. You were easy. But now... I have a whole new reason to enjoy this little rivalry of ours. That's all you got, kid? Out of breath, just from one little blast? Sure, that was disorienting and surprising, but I'm fine, really. I'll spare your father from now. Who knows if he's actually really going to wake up from that anyway. Next time we fight, however, train up, kid. This is going to be one for the history books. And I, for one, can't wait to be a part of it. We're going to have so much fun together. You, it sounded like a big crash and <gasps> oh my god oh my god I is he all right I don't, I don't know. From there. oh my god he's got a pulse he's got a pulse oh my god i think he's breathing oh thank god pop it's what what happened here my worst nightmare hmm. must be around here Oh, Eclipse, we really have just been wandering in circles, haven't we? What are you on about? Oh, nothing. It's just we've been to five or six of one of these little bunker vaults, whatever you want to call it, and found absolutely nothing. Well, look who's the one keeping count. All I'm saying, darling, is it gets a little repetitive and annoying. You have no idea how much I hunger for remnants. It doesn't seem to be coming any faster than when we started. Ugh, the remnant, schmemnant, this is all you women talk about. Well, I am an indigenous demon, so no. 
You know, Eleanor, we're really not all that different, you and I. Two bystanders that tried so hard to grasp what Glitchtrap had. And we're simply just trying to find whatever we can that made his magic happen. What, are you trying to tell me we're gonna follow in his exact footsteps? We already know where that led, and that was failure. This time, we're gonna do it right! That's what they all say. Would you be a doll and open the door? I don't think I want to. Good, cause neither do I! So we'll both just be standing here looking pretty then. Fine! Fine! Allow me. Huh? <gasps> what the? <sighs> Salutations. So if I had to inquire as to who you were, my name is Nightmare. And I think we're all looking for a very similar goal right now. Power. Fair enough. How the hell did you manage to find us? Just a little listening. Listening to the shadows is something that you would find to be very perceptible and very useful. Okay, I'm not here for your philosophical mumbo-jumbo, pal. I'm here to find out what the hell was behind this vault door. Likewise. If we're all on the same team here, I'm saying we should be taking notes. <laughs>